from Toledo's News Leader. This is WTOL 11 This Morning. And welcome into WTOL 11 This Morning. It's Monday, January 18th, 6 a.m. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Melissa Andrews. This morning, we're working hard to bring you the latest details on stories happening near you, including wind chills getting dangerously low, causing bitter cold weather. Mike Holden has a live report. Plus, this morning, a local college student is fighting for her life. Details on the investigation next. And here's a live look outside as we start our Monday together. Skytrek 11 Mercy Cam at Levis Common showing just 4 degrees. But when you factor in those wind chills, it is feeling much, much colder this morning. Yeah, hopefully we'll see a warm-up today. Chris Vickers here with those details. Chris. Yeah, uh, hope is going to have to be pushed aside on that one, Andrew. A frigid cold one for today and an alert day for all afternoon as well as we're going to have sub-zero wind chills. Just updated this down to 4 degrees. We are 4 degrees above zero, but you factor the winds. We're closer to 15 below zero, and it's going to be a very frigid morning and afternoon ahead. Uh, first alert up the radar, a few very brief lake effect snow showers off of Lake Michigan. Nothing more than a snow flurry to be drifting into northwest Ohio or southern Michigan with a chance of just a couple of snowflakes for today. Nothing that would be accumulating. This here is the big deal, though. The wind chill advisory. Wind chills this morning, 5 to 15 below zero. And even as we get to the afternoon, I still expect wind chills will be just below zero. 16 below is the current wind chill in Finley, 11 below in Adrian Monroe. You are 7 below in Toledo. Double digits below zero with that current wind chill. Chill. Frigid chill will be expected out the door this morning. We're going to have mostly cloudy skies, some occasional sunshine today. Still single digits midday and into the afternoon. 11 degrees your afternoon high with the wind chill remaining below zero. Seven day forecast does gradually warm things up. I'll share the details at 6 11. Here is Amanda Face. Let's look at your traffic tracker. Well, happy Monday to you. Hopefully you have the day off today as it is a holiday. You could stay at home in those warm beds. If not, you're going to want to fire those cars up a little early, get those heaters going because as Chris has been mentioning, it is pretty cold out there. Good news, if you do have to go to work today, we're in a good shape on our roads. No crashes to report or no major slowdowns either. I will tell you about a, a closure that has been extended. This was supposed to finish up on Friday, but it will be extended through Wednesday. Spencer south of Western. It's going to be closed. They're wrapping up some sewer work in that area. So you can uh, jump over to Hyatt to get around that. Uh, chances are you're pretty used to this detour by now. Another detour, unfortunately, grown pretty used to as well as Prometica Parkway at Monroe at that intersection. They've been doing some sewer work there for a few weeks. Uh, I was told that hopefully they uh, will get that open today. We'll keep you updated on that situation. We'll take a live look outside here at 475 and Prometica Parkway. Show you things are looking really good out here on our roads this morning in our construction zone. Traffic is moving just fine. And again, those green conditions, we're seeing them really across our traffic map. So hopefully we can uh, keep things that way, but I'll have a look at your drive times coming up in about 10 minutes. That's your Contrada Law Firm Traffic Tracker. It is 6.03. A great way to stay on time with traffic and weather information is to download the First Alert Weather app. It's a free download for your phone or tablet, and you'll have access to interactive radar, the latest forecast, and see any traffic delays. Happening now, we are entering the danger zone, so to speak. The mercury plummeting right here in Toledo with the wind chill advisory in effect. Doctors are warning of the risk of hypothermia. Mike Holden joining us now live with the warning signs and who's most at risk, Mike? Doctors saying that anyone could be at risk for this, but the particular age group that runs the biggest risk, and they're seeing so many problems, young children as well as the elderly. We're live in Lake Township this morning. Just checked our first alert weather app, clocking in at about 6 degrees, feeling like minus 15 out here, and off in the distance, you can see those flags whipping back and forth. Wind not making matters any easier out here. As you head out the door this morning, you will want to layer up, but doctors are saying that hypothermia is a major concern along with frostbite and frost nip. As we said, hypothermia is a medical emergency and it happens when your body loses heat faster than it can produce the heat. When your body temperature drops below 95 degrees, that's when it starts. The nervous system, heart and organs won't work properly. So here are some symptoms that we want to warn you of this morning. It starts off with shivering. Then you'll notice extreme hunger, nausea, 
dizziness and that overall feeling of being disoriented. Now back out here live, if it does appear that someone you know has hypothermia, if they're not acting properly, doctors recommend moving them very gently. They said it takes a while for the body to heat back up. They want you to lightly remove those clothes, get them into a heated spot, and call 911 immediately. Reporting live in Lake Township, Mike Holton, WTOL 11. We're following breaking news, an Ohio police officer found dead after a frantic search. The Knox County Sheriff's Department just released that officer's name as Thomas Cottrell. The uh, Highway Patrol uh, reported that officer missing around midnight. His hat was found with blood on it, but he was missing along with his cruiser. The officer later found outside of the Dansville Municipal Building. This morning, a University of Toledo student athlete is in critical condition. Toledo police tell WTOL 11 Janelle Noe was at a West Toledo house party on Dorchester when she was severely burned over the weekend. Police are investigating how all that happened. Meanwhile, Noe is listed as a member of the UT cross country and track team, also a Sylvania Northview graduate. A GoFundMe account has been set up online in her name. So far, nearly $8,000 has been raised to help the family offset the costs of surgery and skin grafts. A bicyclist is dead in a Wood County crash right now. Police are still piecing together exactly how it happened. This happened on Sand Ridge Road in Plain Township Saturday morning. Eric Ramla was killed when he was struck by a vehicle. Right now it's unclear if that driver will be charged. This morning, two Oklahoma teenagers are behind bars. They're accused of an armed robbery in Waterville. It happened at the Dollar General store on the Anthony Wayne Trail Saturday night. We're told a customer walked into the store and was immediately told by one of the clerks to leave because the store was closing. That customer then called 911 after noticing a male standing very closely behind that clerk. Police later arrested 18-year-old Marcus Rowland and 15-year-old Caleb Sanders. Both face charges of aggravated robbery, kidnapping, and felonious assault. This morning, Rowland is behind bars at the Lucas County Jail. Sanders is at the Juvenile Detention Center. The Reverend Jesse Jackson is speaking out this morning about the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. The civil rights leader says residents of the city have been betrayed. The water became contaminated when Flint switched from the Detroit water system to the Flint River as a cost-cutting move. The corrosive water, though, wasn't treated properly and allowed lead in from old pipes. We are convinced, as I talk with leaders, that this is a disaster zone, not just an emergency. Uh, that maybe there should be a duct tape around the city because Flint is a crime scene. Jackson's comments came a day after President Obama signed an emergency declaration that clears the way for federal aid. At 6.07 new this morning, President Obama will speak in front of the United Auto Workers Union this week. It will be happening during his visit to the North American International Auto Show in Detroit Wednesday. President Obama plans to highlight the revival of the Detroit and the 640,000 auto industry jobs created since the $85 billion bailout. Civic leaders, activists, and others are celebrating today paying tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today is the 30th federal holiday honoring the slain civil rights leader. King's legacy will be celebrated in Atlanta during week-long events. His legacy also celebrated at the New York State Capitol Complex. It's getting bigger and bigger. In just a few hours, you can see for yourself the MLK Jr. Unity Celebration kicks off this morning. Maya Belay is live with those details. And Maya, what is the message organizers have for us this morning? Melissa, they say get out of bed and come out here to UT. Just before 9 a.m., they'll be opening the doors here for you to come inside and experience all the great things they have planned for you here at Savage Arena today. Live music from Scott High School and a special treat. The MCs are own Andrew Kinsey and Viviana Hurtado. The keynote speaker this year has an interesting story as well. Pastor Cori Bush, who was there when chaos broke out in Ferguson. Today, she shares her story. Here's what you can expect to hear. When she actually went to go try to help somebody, the police threw her down to the ground, put a gun to her head. And so she tells how powerful this experience is and how she's now become an activist. Just one of her stories you'll hear later on this morning and coming up in 30 minutes, a way to share your own story that will forever be archived here in the U.S. Details coming up in just 30 minutes. Reporting live, Maya Belay, WTOL 11. This morning, Governor Kasich is receiving another endorsement from a top Ohio Republican. But is he considering joining the ticket if Donald Trump is the party's leader? Hear from him next.
Toledo's news leader, going the distance when it matters to you. I'm Emily Voss. We are in New Hampshire on the campaign trail with John Kasich. See where the governor has been spending so much of his time. Expect more from Toledo's news leader. Join the conversation. Like WTOL 11 on Facebook. Right now at Menard, select Schlag and Dexter lock sets are on sale. This Camelot keypad deadbolt requires no keys and installs in just minutes. $94.99. Plus, get a free passage knob or lever when you buy a keypad deadbolt. Find the right carpet for your home at Menards. Get the best comfort and durability and save on Shaw Carpet. Voyager Carpet comes in three colors, 79 cents a square foot. Grandview Frise comes in two colors, 99 cents a square foot. Save big money at Menards. We got beautiful new floors thanks to Empire Today 60% off sale. We got carpet 60% off. Hardwood 60% off. Laminate 60% off. And I didn't even have to leave the house. We saw lots of styles right in our own living room. We love our new floors. Don't miss Empire 60% off sale. Schedule a free estimate now. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. Northwest Ohio Urgent Care is the leading provider of urgent care services in the area. They treat all medical conditions and injuries on a walk-in basis, including workers' comp. They provide on-site x-rays, lab work, EKG, and a host of other testing. They conduct physicals for work, pre-employment, schools, or sports. Their staff is certified for drug screens and breath alcohol testing, and all health insurances are accepted. Check them out online or call either location. Northwest Ohio Urgent Care. Pamela Rose presents an auction. Two multi-unit apartment buildings at absolute auction. Online auction only. We'll sell at absolute auction. Bid ends by Wednesday, January 20th at 1 p.m. Call 865-1224 or go to PamelaRoseAuction.com. Community. You expect it in your everyday life. Expect more from Toledo's news leader. WTOL 11 is sponsored by SMV. Construction that lasts guaranteed. From Toledo's news leader, this is your first alert weather forecast. Well, these morning wind chills, certainly something to deal with. 5 to 15 degrees below zero, and even as we get through the afternoon, I doubt we're going to even see those wind chills make it above zero. That alert day hoisted and anchored in place for those sub-zero wind chills. That advisory in place until about noon today. Frigid wind chill of 5 to 15 degrees below zero, not only this morning, but through about midday and even as we get to the afternoon. Still going to be talking wind chills that... We'll struggle to even reach above zero. 16 below in Finley. You take the cake this morning as being the coldest spot. 12 below Executive Airport. 11 below zero. Adrian up and through Hillsdale County. Very cold start to the morning. That Arctic air really came screaming on into the picture yesterday morning and into the afternoon. It's made its way all the way down south of the Ohio River and sent an up shop even up the eastern seaboard as well. Arctic high pressure has been reinforcing this cold and it will stick around a couple days. We talked about this last week. When you get the overall pattern dominated by Arctic high pressure usually isn't in a hurry to get itself on out of the picture. So it will stick around with that cold feel the next several days. Our hour by hour forecast. Doubtful we're going to see much of any snow for today. A few light snow showers, mainly up in lower Michigan. Best chance is going to be Hillsdale, Lenaway, and into Monroe County. A little connection with some of those lake effect snow bands off of Lake Michigan. Little, if any, accumulation. The big deal for today is going to be the winds. A very cold day with sub-zero wind chills even into the afternoon and evening. Overnight tonight, we'll shut the snow shower activity off. Still going to be talking sub-zero wind chills into your Tuesday morning. And Tuesday afternoon, partly sunny skies. Still a cold feel. We will track highs into the upper teens as we get into Tuesday. In the midst of the middle of winter, some of the coldest weather of the season. Snow flurries, cold, 11 degrees your afternoon high with sub-zero wind chills through your afternoon. We're going to continue that alert period tonight. Partly cloudy, very cold, 3 degrees the overnight low. And wind chills again below zero into tomorrow morning. 18 is expected for the afternoon highs. We start out with a sub zero wind chill in the morning again tomorrow. 23 on Wednesday. Wednesday will be our next chance of some light snow. 
up to an inch of an accumulation will be expected Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, mid-20s, and Friday, a larger storm system looks to track just south of us. May make some uh, uh, national headlines, though, with a bigger storm that may go up the mid-Atlantic and east coast. Should leave us mainly dry, though, into the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, highs spread around 30 degrees. 6.14 your time. Over to Amanda Faye. She has to look at your traffic tracker. Well, I spoke too soon. Now we do have a couple of issues that are popping up. This just popped up into my system right before I uh, walked over here. Building fire on Park Street near Franklin Avenue uh, shows that there are emergency vehicles at the scene. So if you're in and around that area, just be aware of that. We're going to work to get some more information about that for you, hopefully in about 10 minutes. Another situation. This is a crash at Hill and Burn. A Toledo police dispatch tells me that a car hit a pole there, potentially knocking out power. We just checked in with Toledo Edison, though, not showing any power outages. And uh, Toledo Police wasn't aware of any roads closed, but chances are there are some restrictions in that area. So you might want to hop up to door or uh, down to uh, State Route 2 to get around that. Uh, hopefully won't set you back too much this morning, but just a couple of things to keep in mind as you head out the door. Hopefully it's a holiday for you and you don't even have to go to work this morning. 475 and Airport Highway is looking good. We are seeing traffic beginning to build as it is a uh, quarter after six. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary in that area, though. Uh, same story here at 75 in Bowling Green. Uh, f far more headlights out there this morning than we saw even just a half an hour ago. So that traffic is starting to build in that area. Let's get a look at those drive times to see if we are on time through those areas. And it looks like we are 21 minutes through that zone on 75 from Bowling Green to downtown Toledo. If you're coming from Monroe to downtown, 21 minutes. So we're pretty uh, speedy through that area. Pretty speedy through Perry, uh, through uh, 475 from Perrysburg to Sylvania as one. And look at that, only 20 minutes now from Monroe to downtown. That updated information for you all the time through our system. I'll be back in just 10 minutes with a look at your Contrada Law Firm traffic tracker. At 616, Governor John Kasich is getting support from a fellow Republican. House Speaker Cliff Rosenberg is the latest high-profile Republican here in Ohio to endorse Kasich. Meanwhile, the National Review is suggesting Kasich could be Donald Trump's running mate, which is a spot Kasich's says he's not interested in. Obviously, people who have too much time on their hands <laughs> didn't have anything else to write about. So we don't like them, these Governor Kasich has also been endorsed by three newspapers in New Hampshire. Another Ohio college is banning hoverboards. You can add Ohio University to the list of schools, which is listening to all the safety concerns over hoverboards. The school says they'll be taken if they're found. Alerts have been issued over the boards as they've been prone to fires. Recently, we saw Bowling Green State University ban those motorized scooters. The search is on overseas after three Americans go missing in Iraq. More on that in today's newspaper headlines. Plus, the winter weather creates a major travel headache for drivers in western Michigan. Details on that pile up next. Hey, what's up? Feeding my water softener again. You should get Culligan water, man. My Culligan system is the world's most efficient water softener. It's 24 per 46 percent more efficient than your old softener. Hey, Culligan man. Nice. Start the new year in a new ride from Ruin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Save some green in 2016 with these amazing zero down lease offers. Take on winter's worst in a new 16 Dodge Journey RT all-wheel drive. Just $189 a month. A new Jeep Cherokee Latitude, $179 a month. And get a grip in a new Ram Crew Cab Bighorn 4x4. Now $229 a month, all with zero down. And Ruin guarantees your credit approval. So save some green in 2016. This week at Ruin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Woodville. RuinAuto.com. Dogs are loving and loyal. They are our best friends and confidants. They give us their trust and cover us with slobbery kisses. Dogs even help us live longer. In return, all they ask is to be kept safe. Buying a license not only protects your furry family members, but helps homeless dogs find families of their own. Buy your Lucas County dog license by January 31st and help us help homeless dogs. They say that in life, we shouldn't sweat the small stuff. But when you're building a Mercedes-Benz, there really is no small stuff. Every decision, every component is an integral part of what makes the 2016 C-Class one of our most sophisticated cars ever. Because when you're setting a new benchmark for refinement, it is the small stuff that makes the biggest impression. The 2016 C-Class. Lease the C300 for $399 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. 
problem. You take them on every day. But sometimes the result you deserve is out of your control. Toledo's news leader, investigating the facts for you. Call 11 for action at 419-255-2255. My Culligan system is the world's most efficient water softener. It's 24 46% more efficient than your old softener. Hey, Culligan man. Own a Culligan high-efficiency water softener for as low as $24.95 per month. WTOL 11 is sponsored by Huntington Bank. Time now for a look at this morning's newspaper headlines. We start with the U.S. today. The big story there, several Americans missing in Iraq. They're believed to have been kidnapped. Right now, officials aren't releasing their identities, and it's unclear what they were doing in the area. Several news outlets in the country's capital are suggesting that those Americans were kidnapped by militants. Now to the New York Daily News. We're learning new details this morning after a police officer is killed in Utah. The accused shooter had a prior criminal record and had federal and state warrants issued for his arrest. Authorities say the man opened fire on the officer after he tried to stop him following a crash. The suspect later died in a shootout with police. Moving along to the Huffington Post this morning, the latest try to land a space rocket on a platform in the ocean has ended up in a flop. SpaceX launched its unmanned rocket that put a satellite in space Sunday, but things went downhill when that rocket tried to land upright on a platform in the Pacific, damaging the rocket. The company wants to be able to reuse its rocket so it can cut the cost of its space flights. That's a quick look at your morning's newspaper headlines. Melissa. It's 621 right on the dot, and that means you're never more than 10 minutes away from your weather and traffic together on the ones, Chris, very, very frigid cold out there this morning. Yeah, we're very very fortunate that our school kids not in session for today due to the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, but a uh, very frigid start to the morning. Maybe it's mom and dad have to get themselves still out the door to work. And if you have the uh, ability to stay put today, why not? You don't necessarily want to face this. Four degrees, that wind chill, my goodness, 14 below zero with that wind right around 15 miles per hour. Just about all areas, 10 to 15 degrees below zero. Uh, we've even seen now 16 below in Finley. Out the door this morning, frigid cold with the sub-zero wind chill. Sun comes up this morning at 758. We're going to be in the single digits above zero, but it will feel below zero this morning and into the afternoon. Mostly cloudy later today. We'll get some occasional sunshine, very cold and brisk with the winds. West winds will continue 10 to 20 miles per hour, keeping our wind chill below zero even into the afternoon. Highs today could it be a struggle to reach 11 degrees. Time now to check in with Amanda Faye. She has a look at her traffic tracker. Chris, thank you so much. Unfortunately, we do have a couple of issues that we are following this Monday morning. We were hoping, thing, hoping things would be light out there today as it is a holiday, but here is a fire that we need to tell you about. This is on Park near Franklin. Emergency vehicles are on the scene, so uh, I just expect some delays in that area. It is in a residential area, so it should be pretty easy to get around. You can just take Central down here uh, to get around that another crash to tell you about at hill and burn this uh, tbd tells us that a car hit a pole expect probably some restrictions or potentially a closure in that area as well you can hop up to door to get around that we are told only minor injuries related with that crash here's what things are looking like at 475 and 75 at the perrysburg split green conditions here both directions on both 75 and 475 in fact we're looking at green conditions all the way along 475 as we drive into downtown toledo not a whole lot of cars there on on the roads at that uh, Miami Street, um, the DeSalle Bridge overpass there looking very good as well. Those green conditions right into downtown Toledo. We'll keep an eye on those two situations for you. We'll bring you updates throughout the morning. That's your Contrada Law Firm Traffic Tracker. Thanks, Amanda. An unbelievable number of crashes in Michigan due to whiteout conditions there. Take a look at this. Two people died in one of those crashes, which happened yesterday afternoon in western Michigan. Authorities say drivers were going too fast for the conditions. A semi and eight vehicles were involved in the first crash. Then a short time later, another crash involving 44 vehicles. Unbelievably, a third involved six semis and 12 drivers. I saw vehicles traveling with only one dis uh, one vehicle distance between the cars and at speeds of 70 miles per hour in this type of weather and low visibility. You need to give yourself distance and a large amount of distance. Drivers are being warned to take it slow in dangerous conditions like those. You'll want to check your fridge this morning. Yeah, what you need to know about a food recall is coming up next. <laughs> The most important things in life 
Come in warm embraces, knowing glances, shared memories. As a human being, these cherished things are rightfully yours. When your ability to enjoy them is compromised, we are here for you. You need Elk and Elk. Serious lawyers for serious injuries. At Genoa Bank, we love small business. That's why we're partnering with WTOL 11 to give your local business a chance to win prizes valued at over $11,000. To register to win, go to WTOL.com and tell us what makes your business special. Then viewers can read about your business and vote online. Promote your business and grow your bottom line in the Genoa Bank WTOL We Love Small Business Contest. At Genoa Bank, we love small business. Sleep Dentistry with hospital-trained dentist, anesthesiologist, Dr. David Backus can allow for complete treatment in just one visit. Learn more on Health Track 11 at ToledoNewsNow.com. Brian Elias for 1-800-Hansons. All our winners are hard. So take advantage of our winter sale and get up to 57% off plus 0% interest on the installation of new windows and roofing. Our crews work all winter long, so don't let ice buildup create those roof leaks. And save energy with our triple pane windows. Plus, get a free Android tablet whether you buy from us or our competitor. Call now, 1-800-Hansons. Get it done. Call 1-800-Hansons. Get it done. Get ready for the rock and roll show of a lifetime. Buddy, the Buddy Holly story. Starts Thursday at the Stranahan Theater. Tickets at BroadwayInToledo.com. Join the Arby's Birthday Club at WTOL.com. On your birthday, we'll give you an on-air greeting on WTOL 11 News this morning. And during your birthday week, you'll be entered to win a $25 gift card from Arby's. Join the Arby's Birthday Club at WTOL.com. WTOL 11 is sponsored by the Birth Injury Lawyers at Elk and Elk. Call 1-800-ELK-OHIO. It is 626 here on your Monday morning, and here's Amanda Fay with what you need to know before you head out the door. Amanda? Well, Melissa, a local meat facility is recalling nearly 800 pounds of meat this morning. Pettisville Meats Incorporated out of Fulton County is recalling smoked ham and pork shank products due to misbranding. The problem is the products contain MSG, which was not on the product label. The recalled products were produced between December 3rd of 2013 and January of this year. Customers can call Pettisville Meats at that number right there on your screen, 419-445-0921. And remember, today is a holiday. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The post office is closed, so no mail today. Also, banks will be closed. Trash will be picked up in Toledo, Perrysburg, and Sylvania. Those are a few things you need to know to get your day started. Andrew Melissa. The bitter cold packing a punch this morning. Yes, that set us up for an alert day. Wind chill is in the minuses. Mike Holden joins us now with more. Mike? Melissa, temperatures continue to plummet. Coming up, we're going to detail the warning signs behind frostbite and frost nip. What you need to know before you head out the door. That's just a hint.